Okay, so burr up. The first thing is hand position. You're going to be turning. You said your left leg's the strong side? Yeah. Fine. So likely let's go this way, okay? Towards your left. Because all the weight's going to be in one hip. So because we're turning this way, hands are very important. If you turn with bird hands, this, this is not, not going to yeah. happen. It's, 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 uh, it becomes, uh, it gets crossed. You're, if you're turning this way, your opposite hand, so you turn on this hip, the opposite hand needs to be on top. So palm to palm, here. If it's here on the bottom, I don't think you can turn this way. My arms are crossed. So the opposite hand's gonna be on top, palm to palm, palm to palm. Now you can turn, there's open, okay? Let's watch this foot here. Uh, let's talk about falling first. If I'm over here and the weight's too much, on one leg, we're gonna collapse, and you're gonna fall. And if I'm holding onto your hands, super bad, right? So I'm giving open support in case you fall, embrace yourself, okay? We're gonna give it open support, right? Okay, so let's give it a try, bird. Okay, we're going on this hip. The opposite hand needs to be on top. Palm to palm, palm to palm. This foot pivots over. Point B is kind of like a side star here. This won't work. You gotta really slide it over because point B is you're on that hip there, right? From here, this foot is free. You're, th you're exchanging four points of contact okay. to three now. So yeah. it's always opposite. It's mostly here and here that's keeping you up. From here, you can take this foot that's off Put it on the hip again, slide it underneath here, and you keep turning into back, back bird over here. And you are pushing the arm still until I can get this foot over. Nice stag, because when you stag it makes it a little less on the hands, but it puts more pressure into this way. So you gotta figure out the stag that feels just right, okay? And that's back bird there. Okay, let's come down and, and, and a base. Good back stretch. Yeah. So we're down here. We're in bird. If we're going this side, that means you slide your foot over, but you have to really slide it over. That's key. Okay. Even before you do that, though, what about the hands? It's the opposite hand needs to be on top. Yes, so this true. hand, grab it first, palm to palm, mm -hmm. and then go underneath, grab here. This foot starts to slide over, over long, far enough. Mm -hmm. Pivot me over, I'm gonna pivot onto the hip. This foot's free now. Yeah. This is the tricky part. Mostly this hand's a guide hand. It's gonna be a lot of weight onto this hand and this okay. hip there. From here, how do you switch feet here? Take this foot over, yeah. put it on top, and then slide this foot out. Okay. And then now this left foot's free again. We're gonna roll over onto my back, okay. and then back there. It's gonna be a lot of pushing on this arm in particular. Yeah. Then once you're in back fly, you'll be more both. Okay, if there's a fall, you're giving me open support. I'm gonna turn towards the mat. Embrace myself.